Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to clear and restore the Windows Store cache in Windows 10. So if you're experiencing different problems installing or updating a variety of Windows Store apps, um, it could be caused by the cache. This might seem kind of strange to you guys, but if you think of a web browser and you've ever had to clear the cache, um, the same thing could be done for this application as well. It's in a pretty similar format as well. However, we have to open up a command line in order to do it, so it's definitely not as user-friendly as clearing your browser's cache. But nonetheless, that's why I'm here to make a brief tutorial just to show you guys how to do it. And like I said, pretty straightforward. We're going to start by actually right-clicking on the Start button. And then we're going to select Command Prompt and then in parentheses Admin from this list. So you want to left-click on that. If you receive a user account control window, select yes. Okay, so at this point we have two different choices. Either we could run a command for our current user or for all accounts. So I'm going to type in WMIC space user account or space get number space name and then I'm going to do a comma SID and I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard so this will give us a list of different accounts that are on our computer please take note of this SID name for each account and if you're having problems with one specific account you might just want to keep this command prompt minimized in your taskbar because this is going to be important for later on so we are going to just minimize out of here for right now and now we're going to actually go back to the start menu and type in regedit. For the best match, you want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. Receive a user account control window. Select yes again. Let me back at all this. This is from a previous tutorial I was working on. So we are going to start by left clicking the little arrow next to each key local machine. So it should be the third one down. And then you want to left click on the little arrow next to software. And then the one next to Microsoft. And then scroll down pretty far in this list until you get to Windows. Should be close to the bottom. Select the little arrow next to that. And then current version, select the arrow next to that one. And then you want to select the arrow next to APPX here. And then you want to select the little arrow next to APPX, All Users Store. Should be the first one listed here, and should be one of very few that actually have a little arrow next to it. So select that. And now what's very interesting is you can see if we expand this view a little bit, all these numbers look a little bit familiar. Because this will link us up to exactly which account this seemingly random code is for. So we can see the first one here is listed for the default user 0 and the 001 or the one ending in 001 is for the John Smith account. So please keep in mind it's going to really depend on what your issue is or it really depends on which account you're having issues with. So let's say we're just having an issue with the John Smith account which is the later of the two. I'm just going to left click on the registry entry here and then I'm going to select delete from this menu. You could also click on delete on your keyboard, doesn't really matter. It's going to confirm that you want to delete this key permanently. Select yes. And you can delete the other one too. Doesn't really mean a lot if you're not having an issue with it. Just something to keep in mind. Please make sure you're using the right accounts. I mean, I know it's not a big deal in the hindsight of it, but hopefully you'll know the name of the user that you're currently experiencing the issue with. So once you're done doing that, you can safely close out of the command prompt and the registry editor, and I'd recommend restarting your computer, and hopefully your Windows Store apps are working as they should. So, I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.